Okay, folks, I've got a few different types of chanterelles here. This is a cinnabar chanterelle. As you can see, the bottom of it has ridges, not gills. It peels apart like string cheese, white in the middle. These are the golden chanterelles, as the ones in the picture here that Pete's got the question about. Now, these also have false, they have ridges, they're not true gills. If you'll notice, they do not fold together like sheets of paper. They are not real gills, and they will just peel right off of there. You see? This thing also separates in string, in string. now this one's a little ugly inside, uh, but typically they're creamy white inside. Uh, these have been in my refrigerator uh, since yesterday, so they're getting a little tough. This is another golden chanterelle. One of the things you note is when you bust this off, it's creamy white inside. It's not the same color as the outer portion of the mushroom as you'll see on a jack-o'-lantern. A jack-o'-lantern, when you bust it, it will be similar color inside. Chanterelles are cream to white colored inside. Another thing you'll see on chanterelles is when you break one, see how it peels apart like string cheese or like chicken, chicken breast. Okay, that is a golden chanterelle. This is a smooth chanterelle. And you can see that the ridges are not quite as pronounced. It, it is smooth texture coming up. Some of them are smoother than others. I've seen them that don't have any ridges at all. But again, all chanterelles are cream to white colored inside. They are not the same color inside as they are on the outside, like a jack-o'-lantern. And they also peel off like string cheese. All of these are good edible chanterelles. <laughs> and they also have an apricot smell to them. If your chanterelles look like this, they are absolutely fine to eat.